Hi everyone and welcome to another daily forecast video. I hope those videos are helpful. I received the positive feedback which I'm uh, really grateful for. Now we're going to start off with the economic calendar as it is Monday um, and it's always good to check out um, what are the news that we've got ahead for this week and what should we be prepared for. Now this week um, it is kind of busy mainly on Wednesday is when we've got high impact news that will uh, most probably affect the market. So the Royal Bank of New Zealand's interest rate decision is the first one, which is the early hours of Wednesday. Um, and we are actually expecting a higher interest rate here. So we want to see how this is going to play out. But mainly we're going to be looking for, um, you know, a strong New Zealand dollar if this is what we get during the news okay also the same day um, later on that same day we've got the uh, gdp coming out for the us and the fomc minutes as well so to be honest i'm not really expecting anything major but it really depends on uh, how will the, those numbers come out if there will be something you know much different than what is expected then we could actually see some big moves but um if not then uh, it's probably not going to be something really something major okay also something else that you should know is that on thursday is thanksgiving day in the us which means the us market will be off therefore not a lot of volatility and friday as well to be honest okay so up until wednesday is when we expect to see some uh, high volatility news now let's move on to the chart Looking at the chart of the euro dollar here, what we saw on Friday was price pushing to the downside. It then made a pullback and it kind of continues a lower but with just um, less of a pressure, which means we don't have this strong move to the downside that will, you know, break below the previous low straight away. However, to be honest, this is what I'm expecting as well. Um, I'm expecting to see price action coming down here um, to around the 1.1220 level. Now, for those of you who have any short positions, if you've entered short during this move or somewhere here at the top from this zone that we've commented on before, um, I would say that you should be moving your stop loss just around the 1.1320 level. OK, uh, because right around those levels where we're currently at or slightly lower is where I expect to see the market actually reversing. So that means if you're currently looking for short setups on the higher time frames, such as the hourly chart and anything above that, I wouldn't suggest doing that. To be honest, I think there's, uh, you know, just about another 40 pips of a move to the downside. And then we're most probably going to see. Uh, a reversal and even if we don't see a reversal uh, the 1.1220 is the level where you want to exit your short trades okay so like i said entering right now is probably not the best idea but if you do have a trade already uh, at least go risk free on your position or you know um, as price is going lower then move your stop loss um, above price action all the time and this way you can lock in as much profit as possible um, but other than that, I really think that this downside move is coming to an end and we should see a reversal pretty soon here. Moving on to gold, that's going to be a quick one, um, nothing much going on. Uh, what we wanted to see is, you know, price action reacting off of the 1870, 1880 level. And then we wanted to see a move down inside of this zone. OK, although we do have a move down and price is, you know, about to reach the zone. I mean, it's very likely to happen, um, you know kind of gets there really slowly i was expecting more of a you know a sudden move to the downside however um even if we don't see price uh perfectly reaching that zone we're still going to be looking for that reversal so we can then get involved into a long position if we do see market coming down here now don't expect that because this zone is from 1830 down to 1800 OK, so if you do see market touching the 1830 level, don't expect that this is going to be the bottom. OK, we could see um, price coming down. That's why I've got a zone here. We could see price reacting off of the 1800 level. OK, so if you do enter long here without a confirmation, then you might spend all that time into a drawdown. OK, but really have in mind that there is probably another $14, 10 to $15 um, of a move to the downside. And then I'm going to be looking for a reversal um, and 
to potentially enter a long trade here. Okay, um, that's pretty much all um, in our closed Telegram group. We're looking at um, all the pairs that we've got on that watch list down here. There's some other trading opportunities, decent entries right now. So if you want to find out what else we're trading and you know if you want to receive our signals trading signals um, anytime we enter the trade then make sure to uh, get in touch with us we can put you in our um, closed telegram group also don't forget to comment like this video subscribe to this channel um, because when you're commenting on those videos you've got a chance to uh, win you know a 12 month subscription plan to our closed group for free you can also win a course of your choice or a full forex training which currently costs um, over 1000 euros okay so great prizes coming your way uh, don't forget to comment get involved in our free telegram as well um, and check out our website trendlineforex.com that's all for now i'll see you guys in the next video